okay what's up to all today we discuss about how to create api using javascript and where we access and approach get api post api and put api or delete api and also we define api routes and what is the our folder structure how we define api file and what is the in database just like schema and how to configure our mongodb database in javascript and also we know about the pipelines about mongodb okay let's start as you see i am in my kubeco directory let's create a book store into the book store we define our node.js app I made a mistake and my mistake is pass init dash hyphen y okay now create two folders name database and another is store now install mongoose express and body parser as you see let's discuss about folder structure in store we create a api store file we define our api app in api store because we need to pass it as a parser or save for security purpose in database we create schema.js and another is config let also create a main file name app.js and into the app.js first i configure api file i know i have not created yet but i pass the the path and also same as database okay required from database as config file now pass app as api app api dot app connect our database now time to define our route path our first path for get i pass the url books api dot uh, we pass as get all books copy paste and this one for y id pass id and this is our post change to create book put it also use our id update book and this one for delete same as our put name to delete book okay 
now we need to configure our file but before configuration we define our API in express app here first we need to express installation require express and body parser from body parser but before passing a schema let's define first we need to call mongoose require as mongoose now time to define a schema I give name book store book schema sorry book schema pass as new schema open the parenthesis and into the curly braces pass over first where type is a string and it and is it required yes okay now copy make two more entries one name is title and another is author and summary you can add more if you want now time to export module.export as mongoose.model and pass the name I will pass the name books from book schema now go to the API store name books and it is required call from our database and schema file I think I encountered this file name let's change schema API sometime it will sometime you you can also encounter it with this error when your system cache file will forget to update now in our API file we will create our API as we discuss and define the route here first we create the get API okay but before we need to recall our app as express and module dot exports as app our first is const get all books use a sync await approach request and response let use try and catch and try method we pass a variable books and where await going to our books find and pass a JSON for access all data now we need to response in JSON format here we call books as you see we need to define our error for error we pass a status and with the status code status code will be going to 500 for internal error in JSON format ok and error is unable to find books 
our first API is created now export get all books now create another const create book same as the sync for request and response pass a string to the function now try catch into the try we need to request from body pass a variable books um, here going to book pass their body request now create another variable this one is save book Uh, wait it will be saved our data into the database now time to response pass the error but here status code will be changed for 400 json error error is unable to create ok let need to define create book now create our third api and third api for get oh, oh we will forget our books by id ok let create this one to copy make a copy and paste here books by id and into the books by id we create a variable where we need to find by id and into the id we need to pass a parameter request params dot id ok we make a mistake here now create a else function if books not matched pass an error code and the error code is 404 json format pass error not able to fetch by id ok but in else we pass our response and in response pass box and catch method will remain same now export get all books by id and now we need to create our update or delete api make more copy name to the update book here update by id and update request going to param by id and pass to the request body and also one more thing we pass new as a true if we make some changes it will set to the new ok everything will be fine our update api also created now create our delete api delete book update uh, sorry here we pass remove and gotcha we create our delete api also now change their error message not able to update not able to 
delete export update and delete book now take a short summary first we created our get api for get all data now we created our post api and also created get api by id update book and delete book let's make some comment for better understanding for all data fetch and this one for create and this one for get book by id update books delete books now we created a very complete api store file and also schema file and here we define our app routes define port where we need to run our app pass as if the port is not available it will choose any port from environment as port or else choose our static port 3000 now pass app dot listen into the listen pass our variable port and into the port console.log here server is running on port we remain only one works to configure our file now let's configure our mongodb database first we need to require required mongos now need to export our module into the export we need to create a connect function into the connect function pass a uri just remember put the name same now mongoose dot connect into the connect pass our uri and a function sorry some parameters one is new parser I think it's new user your parser set as true and another one is uh, we need to define here topology so we use unified topology unified topology and it also set to true they are encoded our server and then pass then into the then create a function which will help to know if our server running or not here pass then 
connected to TV catch error into the error pass code and error now need to configure our mongodb here create your first database as free I choose my region as Mumbai. You are free to use and choose my cluster name is Bookstore. Now hit to the create. Choose the username and password. I also created two before. Okay, let's remove and create another one. I create cover p and set a password just remember don't pass a special character choose cloud environment and here you can see your IP list set set to the anywhere for inbound or outbound now create the database sometime it will take Two to four minutes now. Connect our database. Go here and pass the URL here. And remember, you need to update your password here. Okay, let's trying to run our app. Hope so, it will be work. First, I clear my console. And one more thing, I need to pass a, a script for a start. It's completely depends on you. Now run. Let's see. If I encountered in any error, go to the dashboard and also get now check our API means our app will run good in condition now. Time to test our APIs. I recommend to use Thunder Client because this one is good for testing and simply configure with your browser, else, you can use what you want like Postman and any other. now create a post request first set the header and set our header as content type and value set as application json go to the body as we created our schema on the basis of we need to define title and title going to kawaki author author is unknown S summary let's check 
I encountered an error name unable to create what why let's check our Let's check our create book API. Okay, okay, okay. We make a mistake. And you can also find my mistake here. My mistake is I am not defined our book variable. We will change to book dot save. Now test again. I encountered again. Let's check our API. Okay, we also forget parser. Let's define parser app dot use as body parser dot JSON format and into our create API. let I need to check again I run my app again and make a new request copy my URL enter yes go to the post make a header header type is content value set as application json into the body check our schema file title, author and summary Let's check our scheme again if we make any spelling mistake. Author summary title. Hope so it will run. Yes. As you, as we see we get data here and now trying to get data by ID. okay I need to set as get and then as you see we got the data now need to update use put hope is good 
as you see summary is set and data also update let create another one copy post change the URL and into the books title going to Kawaki let's check we go to entry no need to check our delete so we select delete and pass my ID and as you see the entry will be deleted or you can also check all data in collection in the book okay let's do the short summary what we're doing today okay let's close all files first we create a directory bookstore and into the bookstore we install our node.js app and create it to separate folder database store and create a file app.js and our app.js file is main file where we define our routes and port and also connected to the database into the store file we create our express app and describe our apis for get all books create and find by id updates and delete book into the database configure file where we configure our database schema and with the help of thunder client we test our api so there is enough for today video thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more updates